Well, Hillsborough County Schools decided to soften its mask rules for students. Parents can now fill out a form if they don't want their kids wearing a mask in school. The policy change takes effect tomorrow. Marco Villarreal joining us live this morning to explain this change. And Marco, money did play a role in this decision. It really did, and, and not just about how much money that the school district would be losing from the state if they did not relax, relax their mask mandate. It should never went in place. They're overreaching. They're not following law. We have a bill of rights. Parents are supposed to make their own choices. Some parents are cheering on the decision made by Hillsborough County Schools to allow parents, not doctors, to opt out of their students wearing masks in schools. The school district says they made the decision after seeing the number of COVID cases drop in their schools. When the school year began in August, Hillsborough County had a COVID-19 positivity rate of greater than 20%. It has now dropped to 8%. There's also added pressure from the State Board of Education to withhold state funds in an amount equal to any federal grant funds. Superintendent Addison Davis pointed out the $420,000 Broward County Schools recently got penalized for. I can tell you where we are in a financial situation, we need every dollar and every cent that we can. This policy change on masks does not sit well with other parents and they hope it would have extended to the original October 15th deadline. That's when we're expected to have the vaccine rollout for kids five and up um, and that would provide an extra layer of protection. Now, Hillsborough County Schools could still get penalized by the state. That all depends on what happens tomorrow. That's when the State School Board of Education will be meeting. As for those parents who are excited about this, who want to opt out their students from wearing masks inside the schools, well, there is a form that you do need to fill out. Even if you filled it out at the beginning of the year, you have to fill it out again. We've got a link to that on WFLA.com. Reporting live in downtown Tampa, Marco Villarreal, 8 on your side.